Thank you, sir. <laughs> Just this one. This is my gig. Okay. Will you forward me what you sent him? Just right now. Oh, paper. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get scanned in tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, John. John, you ready? I'm prepared. We're recording. I call to order the Historic Preservation Commission meeting. Roll call, please. Mario Todd. Here. Dick Martin. Here. Susan McLean. Here. Attorney Del Walden. Here. And myself. Has the board had a chance to review the minutes? I have. I move we receive them as, a, as written. I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Staff report. Uh, nothing other than what's in your packet. Very good. Moving to new business. A house. Hi. Hi, how are you? Me again. <laughs> if you would say your name. Carrie A House. And you're here to see us about? I am. Uh, I've recently purchased 70 East High. And I'm here to see you about to see you about new windows and um, a door and a deck on the back. Do you have the paperwork there? We do. Awesome. Okay. Um, so for the windows, right now they're single pane um, casement. They're they're a flavor of many. So there's some that are casement and some that are double hung. Um, so we are moving to um, double hung, either black or white. Um, we're working on estimates now, um, but we're hoping to get approval to move forward with that as soon as the supply chain opens up and we can get some windows. So, uh, And then for the deck, so um, the deck in the back, one of the windows, it's the one that's, I'm pointing to there in blue, that would be a door or potentially be a door. Um, that would walk out just to an open, you know, no ceiling, just a, um, a deck, a sleeper deck uh, with the probably wrought iron or um, aluminum railing around it with a composite uh, material for the base. You said the windows would be black or white, but you got black or dark brown in here. Um, it's, it would be black or white at this point. We're not looking at, at brown. Is that a problem? I see that now. No, that looks good, really. Yeah. We hope black because I, I think the white will just be too stark on that brick. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. But, but we can get white much quicker. And, but, again, I think, I think it, would be, it would look a lot better with the black. So that's what we're hoping for. Nonetheless, they're in bad shape and need to be replaced for sure. But it says um, three in back and one in front? It is. Um, and then the two up top. So it's, yeah, it's three in the front, and then it is actually five in the back. The one might be a door, though, right? And then the one may be a door. Um, we weren't going to replace the two on top in the, that's a bathroom up at the top on the back, um, but just so they all match, we want to replace them all now. So I think there's nine total, nine openings total. I would vote for black, I'm not sure I would vote for white. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of white around town. Oh, maybe. Your neighbors have white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All oh, like the frame roof, you're saying? That's open? Mm -hmm. I think her preference 
Preferences black, I think we said, correct? Preferences black. Um, and hopefully we can get those in 16 weeks. <laughs> That's the earliest. By fall. <laughs> but we can get white in six weeks. So that's kind of where we're at. So if I could get approval on both, but I'm leaning towards black, um, that would be good. You think it matters, Mario? Or? I don't think it, it matters. Um, other mm -hmm. than it shows the individual lights or the panels, or it's a, the type of window you're, you're looking at with the grills. Um, it would have, yeah, it would be like the one on the left, not the fancier on the right. Okay. Yeah. But if it were white, it would be the same? Mm-hmm. Yep. Can I get a motion? So move. And that is just for clarity, white or black. We, either white or black. Either white or I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. <coughs> John, you're going to take over for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll email your certificate. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, Kristen. Hello. Hi. Hi. Krista Ricketts, I'm here. I've got several things if you can notice it's it's little things but yet it's still I just want to start getting this done so um, like the the first page is again the front of the building that I was here for last time and now I just want to get the light fixtures approved on this on this portion of it which I called section a I you'll like yeah it, this picture doesn't do it justice but it, they look pretty neat um, are they black? They are. They're like a um, like a grayish um, black, like an older rubbed look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the second, the, then I show the door, which this will go. It'll go. The second pic, light picture will go on this door, and then the other door on Center Street. So that they're, they're all match. But yet, these this light fixture on the picture, the first picture I have, mm -hmm. is going to go on these pillars here. Oh, okay. And kind of like they'll sit at the end and st and kind of stand up. So, and then we'll have a light up. I guess you have to have a light up, up above the door also. So there'll be just a flush light up there. So it'll light the entrance up. And then we'll have these other ones that will light up, you know, the out kind of the building there. So that's the first part. If you guys have any questions. And I probably have pictures of those on my phone. That's a lot better picture if you if you want to see them. But that's up to you. I noticed on this this front drawings that make it a little better to distinguish for you guys from the last. I but I thought these there. were columns. They're not. These. Yeah. No, this is like a a wall with a column in front of it, and that's the height of it here. It's yeah, like it's going to be probably about like three feet high or so. The light goes on top. Yeah, they'll go on top. Oh. Oh, okay. I like that answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and these these are the side picture. If you want to, I don't know if you want to see these or not, but this is the color better. It's just a little bit better color yeah. than what. So. Well, very good. Any questions on the light? Well, the um, the one that goes on the door, the other door, mm -hmm. is it going, where will they be going there? On the side, yeah, on the side of the light, just the one on each just side, on yeah. Side. Yeah. And I believe that's what was there in the past, so it should be already wired for that. Oh, so up above, I see the holes coming Yeah, up. I'll probably bring it down a little bit just because that's pretty high, but. Okay. If you look, I think yeah. there was one at the lower level. Look right at the top of the doorway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At both spots, or you'll see two. Colors. Oh, I see that, and I can do two. In fact, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, if you think it would look better with two, think, there's okay. only one. There's only one on this the center side street, so I was kind of like put one on each 
side, but if, if you want to, and then I can do two. It's really. And maybe one of those things where you just temporarily mount two of them and see what it looks like. And see what it looks like. And that's fine with me, too. I mean, I think two will look fine. So, but I, I mean, I so, because that's going to be really the main, not the main, but that's going to be the main entrance to the upstairs area. So, I mean, it probably would look a little bit nicer with two of them on there, honestly. So. Could it be brighter and safer? Maybe. It should be. It depends on the watts of lights I put in it. But I like the fact that it's the can like the old, you know, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and the older look with the candle lit look. So. Any more of those LED? They already bro yeah. yeah. I've got some inside my apartment right now, and they put off a lot more light than I thought they would. So. Okay, now B is, um, I want to put stone, and this picture does it no justice. Your picture may be better than mine, but it looks like a tan on here. It's not. It's white, black, and gray. So, um, but you'll notice on the first picture is the color of the stone, and the next few pictures is where I'm going to have it placed. So the first picture is, um, it's going to be going from the brick down. And then these, these, the, this will eventually be painted along the same color as the building. But it's going to be going, and the, that's the back area where the driveway and the garage doors are. It's going to be going below that pipe, right below the brick, and covering all that area and leaving the door, the window, and the garage door. And then I'm going to have it wrapped around to the side on the third picture, well, the fourth picture. Um, Point that, that one out. This one here. I'm going to have it wrapped around. Okay. Right on this concrete area right here, and it'll go, it'll go to that door. So it's going to be like a band? It's, band it, band yeah, band. it's just going to get rid of this look. Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? And, and it's just going to add some color to it that's going to match the doors, the roof, and the color of the brick. Or, I mean, the, yeah, the, the painted color of the brick. So I just think it'll dress it up a lot, but it's not taken away from the look of the building, so to say. But, it, but when you turn that corner or you look behind the building, or it'll just dress that up a little bit and show a little bit more class, so to say. So. And this brick will stay, the red brick? No, we're painting that. Okay. Yeah. That's going to all be the same color as the oh, building okay. and stuff. It's just, yeah, it's all going to match. It's just a, a, a slow progress coming. So. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get rid of that because we're getting rid of that front entrance with all that extra texture. And then, and then I want to, you know, the, the rock that they have on the outside that kind of goes down the sides where there was, I'm going to put like greenery and stuff, like fill it with dirt and put green, shrub, little small shrubs and stuff to give it a little bit of look. And then I want to paint that front white also. So it's all the same. So then we're getting rid of a lot of the different mixtures of colors and you know, kind of making it look. Okay. Any questions with that? No. I have questions with C, so I'm anxious to okay. hear an explanation more. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're ready to move on. Okay. Okay. So C, you will see the first picture is the um, Center Street side where it has the concrete walk up here. So I'm, I'm proposing to cut this off and get rid of this. Yes. And then I'm going to make it look like a, it's going to be a porch to that unit. So it's not going to have two entryways. That way it gives, it gives the person that's in the bottom floor building in that first part some, a little bit more privacy because then you don't have someone constantly walking up, up, and, over. up and over. So, so that's what I, the first thing I want to do. And then... Could you show me where that cut's going to be? I'm sorry? Could you show me where that cut's going to be? This one here? That picture? Yeah, where it's going to be. Where? Where's the oh, it's going to be right where the window is. It's okay. going to stop right here where the window is. So... Sorry, John, I didn't... couldn't hear what you are saying. And the second picture just shows... It's just another picture where it's going to be cut, like, right there. 
So. So then you're going to put the composite decking. So that's the next. That's one. the next one. Yeah, the one that says Island Oak. Steel railing. Yes. What is what will the garage protective coating look like? What is that? Well, that is that is um you know how do they have and it may I may not be able to do uh, that's just the only way I knew how to explain it. Do you know how they put the protective coatings in your garage door in your garage like the the um it's another flooring that you put in that protects it and just looks nicer. It's kind of a speckled look where it's just covering that concrete. It'll cover any of the damages and it just gives it kind of a more of a decorative look without, you know, and it, I may not be able to do the, so to say, garage floor look, like, but it would be some, it's going to be similar to that where I can do. It's not going to be the concrete and it's not going to be painted. It's going to be some kind of coating on there that's going to tie in the rest of the building. So it's going to probably be like a, soft white with black and gray speckles and things like that so and that's like i said the picture that i gave it's probably not very good some of these i had to actually just take pictures with my phone off of the um off of the computer so and like i don't know how good your picture is of the color of the decking but i also have that on in my phone also And the steel railing will be black. Oh, the garage floor coating got bumped to the end, it looks like. But it's not a... Yeah, that, that's at the very end, yeah. Did I, did I mess up? I thought maybe I forgot to print it out on mine copies. From the very back of mine. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, I've put that in the wrong area. Okay, so I want to put some, I would like to put some window boxes up and not every window because I think that would be a little bit much, but um, I have the picture on the first one and then I just took a picture of the window that we'll be putting those on the bottom part of them. But they'll probably just maybe three on top, two on bottom, three on bottom. You know what I mean? So there'll be a third on each side. So, and, and I, I've done this at my house in the past. I usually decorate for summer, fall, and Christmas. So. Those are like a poly probably? Yeah, it's white. And um, it's the, um, like you said, the the poly, what is it called, Mar I'm not sure. Um, but it holds the water at the bottom, so it kind of replenishes itself. And And I, and I eventually, I'm, I'll probably have to come back for this, but I want to do the same lighting around the top of it. If we can ever, if I, I'll probably have to get a, if I can figure out how to do it without it costing a fortune like you have downtown. Right. And it would, I think that that would just tie into everything else downtown. It would look nice, so. Any feedback? Thank you. I'm excited about it. I am. I am too, since we're neighbors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's, yeah. It looks like it's getting contagious, too. It's like other, mm -hmm. other folks are doing things, too. Oh, yeah? yeah. Good. I, I'd like to fix the stone on those windows, but I, I'm not, I don't quite know who to contact about that, like the masonry yeah. part. No. So. Top part. 
Yeah. But then somebody said kind of adds, adds character to the building because it shows some of its age without looking terrible. But so I don't know. I'm just very OCD when it comes to that stuff. There's a lot of, you know, faux material out there. You can yeah, true. I hate to say it that way, but, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's it And it looks, yeah, yeah. Is the part that's damaged on the window we're looking at, mm -hmm. um, is that a separate piece or that's all part of it? I believe it's, I would have to look at it again, but I believe it's all one. It's like, that's, yeah. And there's, there's a few of them that are damaged. You can, t the ones that aren't look really nice, but. It may be separate. It might be from yeah. how it You think? Yeah. I'm trying to. Yeah, pretty clean sheer on that. Yeah, those two center cuts. It looks like that might look like it's a separate piece. Which would make it a lot easier to take that off. Mm -hmm. If you want to see some examples of that, the faux stuff Mario's talking about. Yeah. Um, where the tattoo place is on 9 West High. Okay. They, ha they look like stone in their oh really home. oh okay yeah i'll have to check it out then i didn't realize that there was that that was option was available and it's a lot cheaper yeah okay can we uh get a vote on a b c and d <laughs> we'll move that we accept them as presented and i second all in favor aye. 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 thank you have a good evening. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Huddleston? Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Hello. Yeah. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Brooke Huddleston. And I'm Angie Huddleston. We're co-owners. Um, I'm assuming you have everything in front of you. We're new at this, so bear with us. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think you just gave them the paint colors. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. Ready. ready okay um we are requesting for the removal of two of the gooseneck lights the middle ones the middle ones yes and removal of the awning removal of the old beebs and bubs sign and then adding signage in between the two gooseneck lights Signage will it be in the way of a raised sign off the building? It'll be one inch, okay. I think, is what he has on here. Actually, he had a see the view of it from the side angle to see where it was. And we're hoping it looks good still with the two end lighting lights, but um, we were, we're gonna, not sure. <laughs> we were gonna, beeps and bubs just seemed really high to us. Like if someone's walking down the street, you're not gonna see that, unless you're in the convention yeah, center. Very high. Yes. yes, but we also love the lights, so we wanted to keep two, hoping mm -hmm. that it doesn't, hoping it looks good. There was. I just didn't see a convention off the building there. Um, I was thinking that he had, I would, yeah, here it is on here. On um, the sign aromas, um, did you get a, this one? I think it's right. He's got to hear what it would look like from oh, okay. the side view where it's pretty oh. minimal okay. in thickness. It's a 1.125. Am I seeing that correctly? You see it, John? Hey, it's awful hard to read. It is very <laughs> hard to read. <laughs> I wonder if I can pull it up. Well, uh, specification, second line says one inch thick. 
Yes, it, it does. I thought I seen one inch somewhere. No, it does. It's still blurry, but. It good eyes, people. <laughs> okay. Harder and harder. But that's just a black Here. Um, HDU product. I don't, I'm not sure what that is like, but it's painted black and it's stud mounted. Yes, it's an inch and a quarter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 1.125. See, my eyes are... One inch, One inch thick. One inch thick. Mm. I think it looks a lot cleaner that way. Mm. Do those lights give you any lighting? I mean, if you cover up those lights, it might just... I, and I'm just... This is not mm -hmm. the historic committee. I just It looks kind of classier without them, those two. Do you think so? Because we, we went back and forth a lot between keeping two and removing two. We, we or removing them all. We really. I mean, for the one drawing, it shows them all there. Yes. Well, on his sign, or his photo with them off of there, the awning is still on there. Um, Let me show him this one. This shows here a picture of without the awning and then two lights. and then the two end lights mm -hmm. we would like the option to remove or keep those lights depending on how it looked once the sign was up is the sign backlit at all mm -hmm. it is not huh. we all, we tried but the price was <laughs> <laughs> way too much way way over budget <laughs> so they might need those for light yeah these signs do fall within our standards for code. Very good. We're looking at painting uh, everything white, as you see it on there on the sketch that we did with basically trimming everything out in the black. So we want a very clean look. Clean and classy is what we're looking for. Neutral. Very neutral. Um, we would like to strip those two double doors, the double doors at the front entry, mm -hmm. and stain those. We've got two contractors who are going to look at them to see if they're even able to do that. Um, we might have to purchase some, depending on if we can get those in, that type of thing. Um, worst case scenario, we would be looking at painting them white. But our first choice would be to have those stained. So they are, there are wood doors? They're red. They are wood doors, and they're painted red currently. Keep in mind, just a little word to the wise, I was a former owner of a white home in Lawrenceburg. White's hard to keep clean in this environment around yeah. here. I mean, it's almost to the point where you really have to even keep it washed down maybe once every other month to, to keep the... There's mold from the casino that mm -hmm. collects on everything pretty rapidly. Mm -hmm. We would be big about keeping it clean because it's... <laughs> We're that would drive us It's going to be black because yeah. I'm going to get black whether I pick it or not. So. <laughs> yeah. Now you're removing the awning, right? Yes. I'm just going to ask you, do you get a lot of hot sun? On, in your building, Rick? Well, I have an awning. He has an awning. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I have tinted it would, windows. It would be morning sun, though, right? It, so it would right. be the heat of the day, like ours is. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so I think the building is across the street, kind of. Okay. We wanted an option to be able to tint the windows to help that a little bit. Yes, next door at the boutique, have they have the tinted windows. It does look very nice um, and sleek looking. We thought that would be cohesive if we ended up doing that. Um, being a hairstylist, she does prefer the natural light coming in. Um, it was very dark in there with Ani. It, it was very dark. So that was why um, she preferred to have that awning down. And it just gave her a cleaner look on the outside of the building also. The whole aesthetic that she's going for is very neutral, very clean, 
very luxurious um, style of a salon. And I don't think this board, in my own opinion, lights up or lights down would be their option. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate that. Definitely. The um, you could see on the window on the right in this sketch where it, we would like the vinyl signage in the window that says BK Beauty Lounge. Mm -hmm. Just gives it some more signage on the sidewalk there. And that size was listed at 48 inches wide by 24 inches high. I don't want the board heard John earlier. It does comply with all our city uh, ordinance on code for signage. Okay. And then above the doors in the um, transom there, we would like to do vinyl the address in that white also. And your hours on the door. Mm hmm. <laughs> I move that we accept it as presented. I second that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good, Good luck. luck. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. We're so excited to be a part of this. It was nice meeting you all. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Waterford. Thanks. Looks very nice. Thanks. We hope everybody's thrilled once they see it completed. Yeah. A great location. Yes, we're very excited about that. Mm. Any old business? I have none. My grandma's can't get there. If not, motion to adjourn. I move. So we adjourn. I second. All in favor? Aye. All right. We're adjourned.